Hi, friends. <laughs> so, 2022 was a year, <laughs> to put it lightly. Um, <laughs> so, my initial, my initial thought for this video was, I'm gonna show you the planners that I used in 2022, and we're gonna like, see everything. And now I'm looking at it and <laughs> let's start with the ones that are less full. How does that sound? <laughs> so, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, here's some easy ones. This is a, a journal and I forgot where I bought it from. I bought it from Papershire Stationery? Stationery, all right. And I was super gung-ho about it. Uh, I was like, this is gonna be M's wellness journal. Uh, this is how long it lasted because I had been in the mindset where I was like, yeah, I'm gonna tr like track my macros every day and make a spread every single day and like keep a note of my activity and stuff. And it lasted under one week. I did decorate the spreads really cute, but the, this this physical tracking, you know, it, it does not work for me. <laughs> like anything that requires me to back plan every single day does not work. The journal itself, big fan. Um, I really liked all of the gilding on it and there's nothing wrong with the paper quality. I just, wellness journaling in this manner was not for me. <laughs> I wanna do that Muppet thing now where I just like throw it like wee, okay. <laughs> Next shortest, you guys remember this uh, Leuch term bullet journal, which was gifted. Um, and I had started using it for my social media. And let's be clear um, that this also lasted two weeks. <laughs> Usually I feel like I use planners a little bit more than that, but I, I did three weeks in this planner four weeks in this planner, sorry. And then I was like, okay, maybe I'll just not decorate and do something like that. But I just could not get over like how thin the paper is compared to an Archer and Olive. Um, and then there's some secret er things um, that I won't be showing, but like I had started making some lists in here because it's it's fine for for lists. It just does not work for me when it comes to stickering, which is something I r really really do a lot. But it is personalized, so I liked that. Let's see. I'm doing a quick look at uh, journals that only <laughs> that only lasted me uh, under a month. Here we are. This was also, I wanted to do like a wellness journal sort of thing. I, I thought this theme was really cute. Um, and this is an art journal, olive bullet journal. And I liked this. My problem was that I thought that there was too much space, but also too little space and not enough flexibility. Another thing was just that I had gotten it into my head that I wanted every single week to have a theme. Like so that the whole month was beach themed or something like that, which I didn't definitely did not have to do. I started July and then never wrote in it. <laughs> and then we finished. <laughs> All right. So if you're keeping track at home, this is uh, three planners already started, finished and done. <laughs> Another one that I gave up on was my passion planner. So now, to be clear, I still use my planner, passion planner for work. And these cute little printouts I made, I was like, this is my my desire. I wanted to have 10,000 followers and 1,000 subscribers. I did meet that goal of 10,000 followers. We're still working on the subscribers and that is perfectly fine. All right, so. Let's just get into it. I really, okay. I think that the spreads that I made in my passion planner, generally speaking, were some of my favorite 
just because I used a lot of color and a lot of different stickers because there was a lot of room, right? If we compare this to what I'm currently using, right, it, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of room. Now, but sometimes if with a bullet journal, if there's too much room, then I get overwhelmed. So I kind of constantly oscillate between the A5 and B5 size, depending on what I want. Um, oh, this is cool. So I actually have a little, uh, I can look back on the year, right? So at the start of January, I had 8,500 um, followers. Now I have about 2,000 more than that. So that's cool. That's good to know. It's good to look back on. This New Year's theme was one of my favorites and I kept doing New Year's themes just because they bring me a lot of joy. And I really also like the sort of detailed areas for to-do lists when it comes to, you know, things that you want for that week. And I, oh, this is the week I became an LPTG Creates brand ambassador. I think that it's hard for me because I am not really sure why I stopped using this passion planner for my socials. Maybe I should go back. I don't know. I think part of it in my head was like, oh, well, I want to be able to like have a whole page to take notes and stuff. But at the same time, I, I don't know. It's like I, I was worried. I mean, I never used those pages. This is one of I was, it's one of like my most liked spreads that I've ever made. I loved the monthly uh, pages here because I could break it down really easily. And as you know, I'm not very good at making monthly pages. <laughs> it just doesn't work. But since the planner is bigger, I got more use out of it. I don't, when did I stop using this? I'm just, yeah. It was like mid mid May. I was just like enough is enough, and I think you know I was having issues just in terms of like what I wanted from our business, which um, I don't think have I talked about this on here at all. Uh, we closed our sticker shop. We just oh, looking sharp. That's precious. Um, and I think you know I was just not feeling it. I was feeling pretty depressed, wasn't inspired necessarily. And I was trying to use our stickers a lot more. And I just don't know what happened. This is so shiny. These are from Jojo's shop. And I don't know. It's just kind of I would I can like I look at this and it oh, I do love I love this, but I think oh, okay, I know what it is, maybe. I think it's that before the pen it doesn't look this cute. Before the pen it just looks like some random stickers stuck on the page. And I think I just wasn't you know, feeling as creative in my planner as I wanted to be. Although this one's really cute. But mm. Maybe that's, I feel like this is why I always come back to bullet journaling because I'm like, I need my, I need my space. And yeah, I, and I don't think I used the rest of this, which is a waste of a dated planner. I think part of me thought it was undated and that I could come back to it whenever I wanted. Um, yeah, uh, clearly that, that did not happen. I'm no shade to Passion Planner, although their paper has gotten a little bit thinner. Um... And their prices have got more, gotten more expensive, which is kind of annoying. All right, so here is my daily in Passion Planner. Everything before this is from 2021, so it doesn't count. Oh, you can see this is when I got into Ted Lasso. <laughs> I always like looking back and like seeing what books I've, that I was reading when I made these. I was using these like every weekend. I would I would make I would make one and then like get really into it and try try to get things off. Although sometimes I would just put things in and then never check them off. Which is a little bit disconcerting. This is one of my favorites though, because the color of the highlighter, well it's a mild liner, basically matched perfectly with the little violets from Ime's shop. 
and then this is my packing for go wild and i think this is a probably about where i stopped using it um because like i just ran it i didn't feel like i had very much time anymore and this is also where like i kind of took a while off of youtube Oh, no, we've still got a while. Okay, maybe I lied. <laughs> but, yep, there we go. I think this is, is it, what, what the heck? So I made this spread and just never used it? That's so stupid. This is so pretty. <laughs> I do like these together though, cause the, with the topographic maps and the watercolor. Oh, Tetris, Amuse Designs, I love you. Okay, this actually made it a fair amount. This made it through about half the year, which is, oh, that's where the, is, okay, I'm like, I keep thinking like, oh, is that the last one? Is that the last one? Eh. I remember this one, the shark, the shark one. I thought that was cute. I think, is that the last one? Yeah, that's the last, that is the last one in my daily. I don't even know when that was. Go Fest? That was in May, I think. So, we made it. <laughs> we made it five months. And out of the ones that I've talked about so far, that is the longest. <laughs> oh my god. I think with the daily, I don't, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I don't, I don't like having the times. And I think, you know, as I, as I go on in my, in my Bujo journey, you know, I keep, I keep learning things and that's okay. Um, so this is my Rhytosaurus. Again, very thin paper. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna look at my goals again. I uh, I wanted to, what did I want? I wanted to, oh, those are all the same goals for my passion planner. Okay, well, I did start the running program and do the 5K though, so pretty, pretty happy with that. Again, habit trackers that I don't fill out <laughs> I just can't do it. These are really cute though. Um, oh, these are from Maddie's shop. Oh my god, back when I was on BetterHelp. <laughs> my, it, it just didn't work for me. My therapist was overcommitted and like couldn't remember anything. We felt like we would talk about the same things every single time. I did like that every month had this sort of little divider in it. Um, but for whatever reason, I didn't, I, I, I never used these monthly spreads as much as I used the Passion Planner ones. This is the one that Emma DeFries decorated for me. It was so cute. Except that, like, she thought the boxes were too little, so she made them thicker with marker. <laughs> I, these letters from Mandy, I still can't get over them. I really, I really just love them. Not month I felt really short, but I guess, I guess it was short. Then, oh yeah, did I only make it to March? I think that's as far as I made it. <laughs> so this is my vision board, which some of it, I mean, some of it happened, some of it didn't. And then a whole bunch of pages that I did not use. And then this is the Go Wild spread. I think, oh, I just straight up didn't use this one. Okay, did I use this one? Yeah. <laughs> sort of like a delicate flower mat. Uh, I think sometimes I just become really hard on myself and just, you know, well, yeah, this is when I started saying, okay, this is going to be my decorative planner where I'm just going to make things and not fill it in. And then I went, no, Emma, that's stupid. <laughs> so I stopped using it. Four months, no, three, three, three and a half months. Oh my God. <laughs> So after that, we move into the Moxie Life. So I don't know. Ah, oh, I was trying to push it into my little pegboard hook. Okay, so we've got goals and averages and stuff. Um, I'm just skipping past some of the like proprietary things. 
but I had I had set my yearly goals. Oh my gosh, just these. <laughs> okay, so I set my yearly goals, except that uh, it was April, right? And I think the thing that I got overwhelmed with here was that you needed to set your monthly goals and then your weekly actions. And what I know now, right, is that, you know, your weekly actions don't need to be huge and they just like them and the monthly goals are meant to break your annual goals down into sort of more reasonable steps and things that you can actually do um but i've had like some things that were not really actions and i was completely skipping the reflections every single week i just didn't i didn't reflect ever although i did make some cute spreads Except for this one that I made because I wanted to post a weekly reflection. So maybe if I do that this year, it'll be, <laughs> it'll work. This year, um, rather than having the, the spread of stuff with the habits and then the weekly actions, I just have a book of the weekly actions to use. Um, and I think that might be helpful. I did really like the layout. The layout itself was really good for me. I think I just I felt like I was wasting so much oh my god did I not even make it through an entire month okay okay Whew. I was because <laughs> this is expensive this was like a $65 planner not counting the covers and the discs um and you know sometimes when I was on I was like really on but I wasn't really on all that often that's again my second reflection but uh, i do i do so i missed some of this structure that's what i'll say but like i would decorate a weekly actions page and then not write in it um because i didn't know what my actions were gonna be and so i think this this time i'm like you know it's gonna be function forward we love that I also love this spread. That's a very cute spread. So function forward, but I'm still actually gonna do the thing, right? And not not freak out <laughs> like I usually do. I don't know what month is this. Is it June? Okay, it's June. It was useful though when I wanted to use a whole bunch of stickers because I could put stickers for the weekly actions and then have stickers for the week. Um, sometimes they would match. I was sick the next week so it's effectively over. <laughs> oh and then I took the pages out. Oh this is cute. This is for the month we went camping at the end of the month. And these were pretty. July was a good month except that I sort of like stopped doing things again. <laughs> So it's kind of like every three months, I just need to reevaluate my life and be like, how can I use what I'm currently using in a way that is useful? So like this is my birthday week. And then oh, I think, did I even, did I make it to September, August? This has no days on it. Okay, we got some progress here. Oh, this is <laughs> this is the last time I moved my monthly goals though, so we'll see. All these flowers. I got a weekly. Ooh. I had a whole bunch of things that I wanted to do, and then I got overwhelmed. Story of my life, and then I have a whole bunch of extra pages. So if I want to come back to this, it's undated, and I could. Which is nice. I like that. And I do love the Moxie Life system as a whole. I just think that I need to have my decorative stuff and my functional stuff separate a little more. Okay. Next. <laughs> I'm kind of going in chronological order from where I started them. Okay. I gotta find it. Because I had used this for a while before. But this was the beginning of my January reading bullet journal. All right. So this is, I think it's either this one or one of the others is a reel that like went viral um, or semi-viral. I was like keeping track of my stats. So my TBR, I have checked in on this one fairly frequently. Right now there are only three books that I have not read on this 2022 TBR, which is pretty good. I'm not mad at that. 
<clears throat> oh, I also have the pop sugar reading challenge, which I'm going to be setting up in my regular bullet journal as well using the same uh, sticker shop, which is the sticker party. Uh, it just hasn't come yet because it's coming from Canada and like everyone wants these, but I finished it. Although I think I left off a couple of stickers from the advanced one, so I don't know if I finished the advanced one, but I did my best and that's what counts. And you can see, you know, I have the same, I have the same spreads throughout, right? Stats, reading log, uh, sort of stuff. I did do playbookers for a while. And then I stopped just because I felt like I was stressing myself out to read and I felt like I couldn't read what I wanted to read. Oh, I love this though. Look at how it flows into the next gallery wall. Caitlin, I need you to make more, more big sets like that. But yeah, I felt like I couldn't read what I wanted to read and so I decided to stop. These were cute, my little honeycomb bee theme. And again, right? <laughs> this this bullet journal is brought to you by Caitlin Plans. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and then I think pretty soon, I think it's June or July. Maybe it's October. Um where I decide that I need more space because I thought in my head I was like, yeah, yeah, Emma. You're gonna do so many, so many more things in this journal because you are not doing enough already. But, <laughs> oh, that one's cute. I forgot that theme. Because I thought that I was, you know, gonna go in and put in all of the, um, this is, yeah, ah, oh, sorry, okay. So this is where I was like, yeah, I'm gonna put in the, the covers of the things that I really like. Yeah, that's a great idea. And it was a great idea. But then I started going really hard into um, sort of trying to log what I was reading and like put in a little bit about it or like a quote from it. And that was fine in theory. Uh, the problem was that I was adding so much like paper into here that it was becoming a little bit cumbersome. Uh, to close it <laughs> and like things would be sticking together because I put in a whole bunch of glue um, and so then this journal kind of became like my book tour journal which I'm fine with no there's nothing wrong with that um, and you can see when I entered my junk journaling phase which I'm still in um, and you know, some of these never actually made it to the, to the, to, to see the point of, or what, see the light of day. Um, but I did buy this sticker specifically for this book. And then here we go, yeah. So these were all like, uh, I read that one on Labor Day. So this is like September. And then these are an October and November book tour. And then the journal is over. But I still have, a little bit of space in here. I'm gonna keep using this journal for book tour stuff in the future because I know I have two books uh, coming up on tour that I I usually make a spread for. But look how thick and like this this one I've had since 2020, 2021 for sure. I used a little bit at the beginning and then, and then gave up on it. But this is my book journal. Okay. Uh, what happened next? I think next, the next one I started, and I'm still working on this one, uh, is my uh, Shop Amanda Rachel Lee, I hope I'm in frame, <laughs> um, bullet journal. So this is what I use for social media. And I, you've seen me plan some of these. I don't often like show the insides just because they're a lot messier and sometimes they can be a little bit more personal. Um, but they're still fun and enjoyable to create, I think. I definitely, um, liked what I was doing here in terms of having a theme for the month. So, like, the theme for July was the ocean, the theme for August was, like, jungle leaves and tropical vibes. 
This one was just fall in general, I think. Yeah. We're getting to fall. October. Yeah, you can see I just completely skipped that week. Because I think this month I had too many. Yeah, October was Halloween. And this is the one where when I flip the page, we will be upside down. <laughs> And like, I often find myself like starting really hardcore at the beginning of the week and then by the end of the week there's just nothing there, which that's normal for me. You can see I'm flipping really fast because there's some spreads in here that are from the, uh, the plan with lore. Oh, Darby! This spread was really painful but I love it. Um, her, her community and so, you know. I'm paying money to, to get that information, so I don't necessarily want to show it off on the internet without her, oh my god, there's so many, <laughs> those are four in a row, uh, without her, like, express permission. And then December, that's this month, so this is sort of as far as it's gone so far. <laughs> I do, yeah, like, I stopped filling in that. I'm still working on kind of how I want to fill in this spread. And then we've got a couple more things that I think I can share. Yeah, so this is my notes from the goal, the Moxie Life goals section. So they had three videos and I had notes for each of them and then a to-do list. <laughs> and so I think that this is gonna get me, this is probably gonna get me through January. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I want to start a new one and just like let the rest of this be for creative stuff. So let me know your thoughts on that. We only have two more left. Only two more. And then we go into my regular journal. So I tried to do like a cute aesthetic setup at the beginning. This is my future log that I never used. Um, and then I was like, oh yeah, I'll leave some pages and I'll fill them in later. I did not do fill them in later. I also thought that like, I was gonna draw all of my themes and like, that very quickly did not pan out. <laughs> oh, this is the spread that I did for Penguin Teen. I liked that one a lot. I did start theming my monthlies though. Just because it made it easier if you, when you're just using the same colors over and over and over again. So these are the Sailor Moon stickers. <laughs> yeah, they uh, empty my uh, month in photos. That That is a recurring theme. And I think, you know, in the future, I might, I don't know, I might consider doing something just completely different. Um, because I like the flexibility to be able to just like write for a day and then, you know, look at my calendar for the next day and then write it in, but that doesn't always work. And I don't know, sometimes I just, if I'm not in the habit of like using and looking at my planner every single day, I'm just not going to do it. Um, so like some of these weeks just will have nothing in them and that, it's fine. It's fine. But like, I never set my monthly goals, I never set my brain dump, and I wrote one thing in my daily gratitude for November. So clearly you can see how November went for me. Uh, it's just like empty, although I loved this spread. I really loved this spread, because that was my first like uh, junk journaling spread with, uh, oh my god, what are words? Uh, the Modern Journaler. <laughs> And this this is this the spread from the week that I decided to close our shop. <laughs> um, but you know things things were cute. I never showed you guys the spread. Uh, I was inspired by Joshi Corin um, to try out a new layout, and I really liked this layout because I knew exactly where my like text was gonna go. And then we get back into sort of the junk journaling Christmas, which oh yeah hey look look who hasn't set her monthly goals. What else is new? And then this is last week with like these paper minty museum vibes. And this is this week. And then I still have, so this is funny. I started one month less 
than my last one and I, I have about the same amount left so this is probably gonna get done in February maybe we shall see and then we have my book journal my current book journal um, so we started this one in September so you can see I kind of I started my new socials journal in July and then pivoted over my regular moxie life for July into that new journal and then I pivoted my art journal olive into this bigger journal but we've got September with all the books that I read with a cute oranges theme these are again still all Caitlin plans I don't know what I was going to use that spread for but it was cute I also started this series which I don't know if I'm going to continue or not uh called read if um and so like if like you should read this book if you like I'm up at Christmas Carol or like if you like party planning um but I I just couldn't I didn't feel like I could keep up with it even though it was really cute and I liked it I did not do it for November and I don't think I'm gonna do it for December because <laughs> like in November I still read a lot of books but like I left I think I had left some space on this page to go back go back that's my problem to go back and do a, a, a spread and it did not happen I do need to log some more books for the month because it's the 14th and I've read some of these like I've read the Everstorms um, I've also bought some books uh, and I can't show you the rest yet but they I'm still working on my 2023 book journal setup it's all really simple I promise uh, but I'm gonna show it in a reel on Instagram probably so uh, bringing back let's see how many planners are these four seven eight nine eleven I used 11 different planners in 2022 so uh, there's that <laughs> Uh, let me know down below if you got any favorite spreads or any favorite planners or anything you want me to try out next year because Lord knows I will I will try any planner <laughs> and uh, as always happy planning <laughs>